Hi, I'm Edward Choi, a PhD student from Georgia Tech, and I'll be presenting my paper, Multi-Layer Representation Learning for Medical Concepts. This is collaborative work between Georgia Tech Sun Lab and Children's Healthcare Outlet of Atlanta, CHOA. So, representation learning has been successfully applied to a lot of predictive tasks in image processing and natural language processing, etc. So the question is, how can you learn good clinical representations, such as code representations or visit representations, and we want it to be interpretable and scalable since we're talking about clinical applications. So to give you a sneak peek, what if we can learn code representations like this? So this is a 2D scatter plot of the learned code representations dimension reduced by t -SNP. So if you look at the cluster over here, you can see that they are all related to skin cancer, carcinoma. And if you look at the cluster over, let's say, how about here? You can see that they are alcohol problems. So let's look at the structure of the electronic health records. So they are two-level structure, where the first is sequential information of visits, and the second is the co-occurrence information provided by the medical codes happening within the visit. So the structure of our architecture, the architecture of our model is this. So we first embed the codes that happen in, within a visit to a latent, latent uh, lower dimensional space using rally activation function. And then we concatenate it with patient information such as age, weight, and gender. And then we finally project it to the visit embedding layer, visit embedding space. So we get VT, the visit representation, and UT, which is the intermediate representation or code representation. So the, our objective is the sum of two losses, where the first loss comes from visit level learning, where we train VT, the visit representation, to predict medical codes in the fast, past and future visits, or the neighboring visits. And the second loss comes from code level learning, where we use skipgram to leverage the co-occurrence information of the codes. And we enforce non-negativity using ReLU for coordinate-wise interpretability. So the data set is provided by CHOA, where we have half a million patients and 3.3 million number of visits. And we can train visit representation and code representation using this. So lack of, due to the lack of time, we'll only go to the coordinate-wise interpretation of the code representation. So these six coordinates are the coordinates that are highly related to patient complexity. So if you look at coordinate 112, you can see that they are all related to sickle cell disease. Coordinate 152, they're related to injuries due to sports. How about 199? Let's see, they are related to congenital paralysis. Coordinate 190, they're related to congenital chromosome anomalies. So you can see that they are actually indeed complex conditions or harsh conditions. The rest of the details are in the paper where we have including the experiments on two predictive tasks and scalability. Thank you very much for listening.